Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So the background setup is a little bit different and a little FYI, I do have a t-shirt on. It's just like a strapless shirt. Um, it does have sleeves but I just feel a bit restricted when doing my makeup with the sleeves so we are going no sleeves at the moment. Anyways, back to the point. <laughs> Today I'm going to be trying out some new makeup products which I'm super excited. The company that sent me the products is called Plant Makeup and as you guessed it by the title their makeup is basically made from natural products and plants and things like that so that's super exciting i love trying out like natural makeup brands for you guys so i am very keen to try out the products today as you guys can see i've already done my like base makeup it's just my usual you know i can leave the like the products into the, the description down below if you would like to know but it's just my usual kind of thing. So I have already had a little like dig around inside. I couldn't help myself when they sent it to me. Um, they are a sustainable company as well. So like packaging is natural. They've got those little like styrofoam things that soak in water and dissolve. But yeah, the company brand name is Plant Makeup. Okay, and they've given me a little thank you note. It says, your natural box of plant love contains an item that will store longer in the fridge, which is the liquid eye thing. Oh, cute. It's made of natural ingredients that will have a longer shelf life if you store it in the fridge when not in use. So I haven't opened it yet, so it should be fine. But yeah, keep that in mind. I'll have to keep that in mind that their liquid eyeliner is best kept in the fridge rather than just on my makeup shelf. So their products come in that box, um, cardboard box, which you can recycle. And then it also is wrapped in tissue paper, um, which I think you can recycle as well. Um, I don't think I mentioned why I was here. Uh, I just, there's too much background noise in my room. So I thought I'd move here where it's a little bit quieter. Anywho, I got a little glitter stick. This is the Indigo Child Glitter Stick. 100% natural plant makeup so their products are literally 100% natural and it's like a little push stick oh that is actually so gorgeous mm. you know, I actually want to put some on my shoulders and like decolleté right now because I'm looking a little bit plain since you guys can't see my top and it's just got a little cardboard packaging as well which I love I'm all about that sustainable packaging and helping the environment. I think it's so important that we do our bit. Be conscious with our dollar. Oh, guys, can you see that glow? <gasps> oh, I'm in love with that. Oh, that is actually so gorgeous. So I'll keep moving on to the other products. So I've also been given a um, frost glitter wand. I also love that it's like cardboard, like um, illustrate uh, illustrations text. So like even all the packaging is pretty much like reusable I think but I do love that it's made from like this kind of brown papery kind of style it does kind of have that sustainable feel so this eyeshadow is actually called mermaid balm this is like what I've based the look around today that I want to do so I want to do a kind of mermaid style feature to the face today I have a bit of an idea of what I want to do but I want to kind of base it around this eyeshadow so that's kind of what I've got in mind. And I also wanted to try out their liquid liner for you guys to just see how it kind of wears and how it applies and everything like that. Because I always feel like liquid liner is such a staple in everyone's collection. So those will be like the four featured products in this makeup look. But I will probably use the different eyeshadows here and there. All things like that uh, to create this mermaid look. I also ordered these like little, can you see these little scale nail art things? So um, I'm thinking of putting that on my eyelid as I apply the products to get that kind of scale effect. We'll see how it goes. But I want to play around with that kind of feel to the, to the look. So I'm thinking I actually might do the highlight first. Just because I'm going to put a fishnet stocking over my face to give like a scaly effect to the skin. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, I've got a lot of ideas buzzing through my mind. I hope they play out well. So I've just got these like, I think I got, I think they came like a three in one pack, but you can literally just get fishnet stockings from, you know, your local Target or whatever. I just got these, like I said, from Kmart. 
I'm gonna pop these on. Okay, and I'm just going to press it onto the point where I want that kind of fishnet stocking effect or that kind of scale effect. And I will actually set this with a powder because I just feel like a cream will not last. Then I'm going to grab my Folklore highlighting quad and grab some of the lightest shade. And on an Eeg Show angled contour brush, I'm just going to apply that over top. Oh, she went pretty well. She went pretty well. I'm going to chuck some on the tip of my nose as well for a bit of a mermaid glow. So that is a super duper intense glow, I might say. Like honey, honey, yeah. So it says here, the Mermaid Balm is 100% natural plant makeup. It says it's a very versatile creation for fine lines, general moisturizing, reflect reflecting sun rays, and of course, creative makeup purposes. I'm just gonna apply it as a light primer to my lids. I thought it was a, like an eyeshadow thing because I either wouldn't have gotten it, but I thought it might have been a little bit more pigmented. Maybe I didn't read enough on it. I think I just was like, ooh, mermaid, and just picked it. So I'm using a fair bit on my lids because why not? So that is actually pretty cute. But I would 100% set it with something because it is a balm. So that is not going to stay. I might go in with the transition and then I'll go in with the deep blue. Taking just a fluffy blending brush and I'm going in with these two transition shadows. I'm just going to bang this through the crease. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stunning shade by Morphe. It's their single eyeshadow in the shade Sapphire. It's beautiful like ocean blue. And literally just on my finger. I'm going to apply that all over my lids. Then taking some on a petite crease brush. I'm just going to chuck that through my crease just lightly. And I'm even taking some of Twerk. Which is a beautiful kind of royal shimmery blue. And I'm just buffing that through the outer crease. So that's a little something how it should be looking at the moment anyway just like a deep smoky blue so now what I think I'll do is apply the sticker to my eyelid I don't know how I'm gonna do this should I do it sideways now this is an experiment for me as well so let's just see how it goes so I went in with Pegasus from Makeup Geek and applied that over the pattern just in the center of the lid and then just going in with some of that soft brown just soften the edges kind of worked a little bit probably better on the other eye what do you think i'm kind of tempted to use these on the highest points of the cheeks as well so just taking that nyx prismatic shadow and applying that here yeah that's cool that gives a bit more of like a fish scale effect and it's not like i'm filling up the whole area i'm literally just dusting it to the highest point of the cheek. I don't know, I'm just like playing around with different effects, seeing what works and what doesn't. You guys definitely don't have to copy me on this section. But I'm just having a bit of fun today. It's a very relaxed tutorial. I feel like it's one of my most relaxed tutorials I've ever done, to be honest. And then taking some of that prismatic eyeshadow and applying that to the brow bone. And even my inner corner as well. Just the highest point of the brow. Are we too glisteny now? What do we think? Okay, now to trial out the final two products of today. I'm going to go in with the eyeliner first, and then I think over top of the eyeliner, fingers crossed it dries down like matte, I can go in with this glitter. Because I feel like this would not do well over this. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think this little, like, frost glitter wand is supposed to go over eyeshadow that well. Anyways, back to the point. I'm going to do my wing liner. Pray for me. Hopefully it goes well. How's the wand look? Let's check. So here we go. Here it comes. Oh, it's cute. It's little. That should work. I think I can work with something like that. Whew, deep breath. I get so nervous with wing liner. Especially when my face is like untouchable right now. Oh fuck. It's exploding on me. She's leaking. She's coming out hot and heavy. It's like leaking out of the bottle. Woo. Yeek. What a waste of product. I'm going to have to close the lid and use my eyeliner, like, um, my own eyeliner brush because, like, literally, look at all the product that just leaked out of the bottle. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe I should put it in the fridge. 
So it's quite a thick consistency. And like I said, I'm going to use my Ig Show Eyeliner Rush. But the few strokes that I did use with that um, one that came with the bottle, it was pretty good. It was quite firm. I don't think I will swoosh it across my whole eye. I want to keep it to the outer third or the outer two thirds. So it's just going to meet in the middle like this. For a plant made eyeliner, it's pretty dang good like pigment wise. It's a bit thick but like, I'd rather that than thin and liquidy, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to cover up too much of the lid because like I love that like scale pattern that we've created so trying to keep it thin while i'm waiting for that to kind of like dry a little bit i'm going to use a nude eye curl in my waterline i do have a blue eye curl but it's not like that great so i don't really want to use it at the moment but if you have a blue that you do like using definitely go ahead and use it <laughs> now to go in with this glitter uh, glitter stick. So I'm just going to go over top of my wing liner with this. Let's see how it goes. It's got a little doe foot uh, applicator. Um, so you could apply it to your lids. So I'm just using the same eyeliner brush that I used to apply the eyeliner. No, no, no. I'm not loving it. Like, it's pretty and stuff. It's just, you know, I'm not raving about it. Like, I think these products are flipping awesome. And I love, I'm definitely going to like keep using them, like in videos and stuff, like 100%. And like it's stunning on the back of my hand, don't mind all that eyeliner. But like, see here? It's stunning. It's really pigmented. I don't know if it's the brush, but it's just not applying that well. Like, maybe it's just because my brush is all glugged up. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. And the foxes I'm taking today are the Eyelore most wanted style like aren't these just such a gorgeous very wispy pair of lashes like mmm mmm and just wide that dry I'm going to take sapphire again and just kind of smoke out my bottom lash line a little bit just a smidgen just to redefine it up a little bit then just going with a bit of twerk which is that one from the Jaclyn Hill palette and just smoke it out a little bit just a tad. I hope this isn't too long of a video. Sorry if it is. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit on my bottom lashes. Just a little bit of mascara. Now usually I would do like a nude lip. Should I just do nude? Because there's so much going on in the face. You could do a blue lip but I think I might do a nude. I'm going to be boring today. <laughs> just do a nude glossy lip. So I'm taking the Idiest of Bidiest's Lip Liner in Natural 049 from Rimmel. I'm just lining my lips. Then I'm going to take my Zoeva Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pale Plethora and apply that. And over top taking my Gorgeous Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Natural. This is a bit pinky for this look. Maybe. And this is the completed look guys. So, final thoughts on the products. Loved the glow stick. It is a bit balmy though, so you do want to set it because it will move. But if you haven't got any makeup on underneath, like if it's just sitting on your skin, like bare naked skin, you got a bit of glow going, that should be fine. So this is the Indico Child glow stick and this retails for $24. The Mermaid Balm is good. Doesn't really do a lot with this look, I guess, but it is more so, I guess... Sorry about my dog. It is more so, I guess, for like the skin and the lips. Like it is a balm, but it, it can be used as an eyeshadow primer. It retails for $12. I also got the Frost Glitter Wand. This retails for $17. Um, and the eyeliner retails for $16. I will leave all of the information down below so you guys can check it out if you would like. But yeah, this is the completed look. <laughs> what do you guys think? So I did obviously couple it with other like products and stuff, but the original products I do love. Um, I will use them. I don't know. I think the glow stick was my favorite. 
of all the things that I chose, but I would love to try out their eyeshadows. I think that would be really fun to give it a go. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this mermaid look. Anywho, please leave it down below what you'd like to see next. Any comments, questions, queries, anything like that, please let me know. Um, don't forget to check out my Instagram before you guys leave. I post um, different makeup looks that I don't do videos on, like just looks that I'll create during the day. Like just, you know, if I have a day off or something, I like to get creative. And I'll do different makeup looks there that I don't post on my YouTube channel. So make sure to follow me on that. And yeah. I hope to see you guys in my next video. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye.